Okay, so <laughs> as with all these pingons, if you're not winded after these, uh, probably not doing them right. Although I'm probably a little bit more out of shape than I am giving myself credit for. All right, so um, things to look for in Pyongan Odan. Uh, this is a powerhouse hyung, so there is no halfway techniques in this. Posture is going to play a super huge part in this, as it does with any hyung, but at this level, you should be paying a lot of attention to your posture. It's going to help you generate a lot of power. All right, so I'm going to kind of go through this real quick, um, but detailed. Um, we see this opening technique being cheated quite a bit. So it kind of looks like this. All right, if we slow that down, we see a lot of this, this. So for some reason, at the junior ranks, there's a lot of emphasis being put on speed in this. And that's the last thing you want in this. You want proper technique. Proper technique is gonna help you generate power and it will help you increase your speed later on down the road. So slow it down. We look, form, and pull in. Okay, pull fist, very important to your ribcage. Our counter strike, Bandai Churugi and Hubajase, all right, uh, is not going to go past basically your fist point on the other side. So if I'm looking here, boom. Right. Draw up, switch. All of these switches in Pyongan Idan, Pyongan Sadan, and Pyongan Odan, these switches are close to the body. Right? Way too often we see this. There's no big circle arm movements. Everything is very close to the body. So if I'm here and I kind of use my fist as a method to look at the distance and maintain distance as I and that's when I switch. It's that close. No big arm movements. Okay, so we're on the other side. This whole sequence, very easy to bob up and down. So this is your challenge during this form, is to maintain constant head level. Here. Set, high X, open hand. And what we want to do in our Hanbal Jase transition uh, for this, uh, by the way, you want to be able to see, you want to be able to look through, but also guard. Right? So it's not here, it's not here, it's not way back here. It's right out in front, but we want a nice clear view. As we transition, we're going to be in Hanbal Jase with the Sudo. Here, this is try and go through this without beating a dead horse here, but this is the hand technique. back, your backhand, straight across, make sure that this is nice and tucked, keep this where it is, don't move it, that's what your target is. Shoulders should be generally in the direction of your technique or opponent. Switch to the other side. Here at Benoit, we do the pullback. It is a, the concept behind that is a sweep. All right. Um, so we're basically engaging in our opponent. We're sweeping their front leg towards them. Which, if I were the recipient of the sweep, and I'm here, the sweep would come under here and drag me forward. All right. So that's the concept of it. Here. 
jump high and out. And we want to be able to land in this position and stay balanced. Let's see if I can do it. This is how you want to be able to stay. It's nice and low and it's out. And then our double reinforced block. Look. This action is uh, up for interpretation. There are those that pull straight back. And there are those that it's a wide kind of sweeping action here. We do the wide sweeping action. Pull back. Court screw down. So we're here. Cork screw down. Make sure your upper arms are parallel to the ground. We're still looking in this direction. This, we see a lot of discrepancy. We see a lot of this. It's not that. And it's not way up here. Relatively right angle with maybe just a hair upward angle on the upper arm. And we're done. So there's a lot to try and pay attention to. Um, if you want any more information on this young, um, have any more detailed questions you'd like me to go over, please feel free to shoot me a message and I'll be happy to record another video. Until the next time, happy youngs and tongue soon.